morning! Welcome to our first book review on YouTube. Butterbeer and I couldn't be happier to bring you our first review through video. We've done a few of them, obviously, on our Instagram account. If you follow us, I will add a link to that below. We have two different Instagram accounts. We have one for our books and my writing, and we have one for our Harry Potter stuff. So if you'd like to follow us on both, we would much appreciate it. The book we will be reviewing today is A Rip Through Time by Kelly Armstrong. It was very good. We're giving it five main coons out of five. Butterbeer couldn't put it down and neither could I. Right, Beer? As many of you already know, Kelly Armstrong is one of my favorite authors. I have several authors that I really like, but she is definitely one of my favorite for more of my crime books that I like to read and thrillers. I have other ones that I like, like Cassandra Clare, J.K. Rowling, because I love Harry Potter. If you haven't figured that out by now, you haven't been watching my other videos. Like thrillers, romance, young adult, pretty much anything. My biggest thing that I like to read though, I think would be thriller and mysteries. I love to figure out who done it. Agatha Christie is really good too. Kelly Armstrong is definitely up there with one of my favorite ones and she's Canadian, which makes it even better. If you're looking for another Canadian author that is really good, I like Chevy Stevens books. They are so good. They keep you on the edge of your seat the whole time and I usually will read them in like one or two sittings just because I need to know who did it and what is going on because they twist and turn so much. I love them. They're good. So between Kelly Armstrong and Chevy Stevens, those are my go-to thriller books. Never disappoint. They are so good. But anyway, let's get back to the review of A Rip Through Time. I couldn't put this one down. I read it in thin a couple days. It was so good. I started it and then life got busy and I didn't get to read it. And then I picked it up again after, I think I'd only read one chapter. And then once I picked it up, that was it. I read it within two evenings. It was so good. Mallory is our main character in the book. In 2019 time frame, she is a homicide detective in Vancouver, but when she is in Scotland visiting her grandma, something happens. She finds herself in Victorian times. She has somehow managed to jump through some rip in time and has become trapped in the past. And I also, when I like a thriller, I also like historical books too. You can see behind me, it's quite a few there that I have, but this one took a new twist to the whole concept and I really liked it. It was really good. The whole time it kept you trying to figure out what was happening with her and where she was. I love how Kelly Armstrong has her wake up and be really unsure of what has happened to her and what is going on really cool concept and finding yourself in Mallory's position you wake up and you're not in your own body you're in someone else's body and the time has completely changed you think you've been caught by some madman and locked away into some historic period drama where people have gone a little bit crazy because they don't understand what you're talking about until slowly you realize that hmm, I am not actually just stuck in some weird time frame. I have actually traveled back in time. I can't imagine. It would be really cool to see, but I'm not sure how long I would want to live back in the past. But you get to experience that through Mallory's adventure, and you definitely need to go and pick up your own copy of A Rip Through Time. This is one of the best books that I have read this year. I know this is a series that she is going to be putting out, and I cannot wait for the next one. This has paved the way for so many more really cool books to come, and I cannot wait to see where she takes this series. It is so neat. Being stuck in 1869 Scotland is really cool. If you have read the Outlander books or watched the show, you will really like this. It's more 
futuristic from Outlander because it's more modern, but it's the same feel and I really, really liked it. So, like I said before, five Maine Coons out of five. Best thing I've read this year. There's been a lot of good books that I've read. This one tops them. It is awesome. You should definitely pick it up. I got mine at Costco, but you can get this anywhere books are sold. Chapters is really great in Canada and Indigo, but if you are in the States, whenever I'm there, I go to Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble is great. I love that store. But wherever you are, you can get a copy of this. Amazon is always good. I will add some links to where you can pick up your own copy of A Rip Through Time. If you liked what you saw today, we'll be doing more book reviews to come. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button for your source of everything Harry Potter and books. Thanks for watching.